Hi, plant people. Welcome to my jungle. We're gonna do a quick video on how to move plants from gel to soilless media. Now, first, this is two parts, like two cups or two, whatever you wanna use, um, cocoa coir, two parts perlite and one part sand. And I have them sitting in captain right now. Usually I pull these apart before placing them in captain. I took some out and I put it back into multiplication media so I can get more plants. It's easier that way for me because then I don't have to really worry about contamination. So right now I have them sitting in captain. And then this is an official bacteria in Trichoderma. It's this great white. And this is the powder form, and uh, this is rooting hormone. Actually, this is not rooting hormone. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Before we get started, I'm going to show you how to mix the Captain and the Great White in water. Normally, I only make two quarts of the Great White and one quart of the Captain, but today, I'm making two of each because I need some captain for a rose bush. But this is the captain I'm currently using, and I use one teaspoon per quart. So today we will be using two. So I just dump it in there, add the lid, and shake it. So now that the captain is made, I'm going to make the great white. Now I use a half a teaspoon for two quarts. So that is one fourth a teaspoon for one quart. So I just dump that in there and then I'm going to shake it. Now that I have everything shaken up, I'm going to add some of the great white into a cup so that I can make the rest of the water for watering my tissue culture plants. So this is the fertilizer I like to use. It is very low in the NPK. It's got 1.51. So I use half a milliliter per liter, but because I have one and a half liters, I'm going to use three fourths of a milliliter and I will just drop it in there. You can also use root hormone but be careful, some rooting hormone has vitamins. So this has 4, 10, 3. So I'm actually not going to use this since I just added this in there. I think this is too high for plants that just came out of the gel media. Now let's get back over to the plantlets and we'll talk about watering them again later. Okay, so normally I will pull these apart at the sink, but because I was putting some into media, I did not. So what I do is I kind of look around and see what can be pulled off, if any. Um, like right here, these two clumps can be separated. I'm going to lightly pull the roots apart and then work on one little hunk. Now the reason why I just don't pull this all apart is because I don't want to damage it. I don't want to damage the roots and I don't want to pull any that do not have roots off because then their chance of survival isn't as high. So I can see there's like the large stem to this piece right here. See if I can wiggle it out. So this one's trying to come free. See how you want to be very, very gentle with them. And then I just drop it in the great white. Kind of shake it off. And then I don't want the leaves to go in. And then just tap it. So you see I still got it on the leaf. Eek. So I just kind of tap it and then tap it over here. And then I love this tool. I get this tool and I just kind of make a little hole 
and then just kind of set it in there and make sure that I get the roots in. And then I take this little weed puller and just kind of make sure it is in there. I mean, you can use your fingers for any of it. I just choose not to. So, as I'm pulling them apart, I always make sure to check to see if there's any gel. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's gel, a glob of gel all right here. So I'm gonna take it over to the sink and rinse it off again. So here are our plants. We are gonna mix this up, take this out, dump, a little in. Now we can put this back in there. Put the dome on. Make sure not to get any of our little babies. And put the lid back on and ignore my cats. So this is what it looks like when it's complete. I have it in a glass enclosure so that I can control the humidity in here once I take the lids off, which will be a few weeks. You wanna slowly adjust them to normal humidity over the next two to three months. I have a seedling mat in here, which helps the humidity in the domes. This is my temporary setup until the lab is complete. Make sure to leave the lights on for 12 hours a day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure you like and subscribe or follow wherever you found this video. Bye.